Lakers in the Lucas Oil Blue Corner, standing five feet two inches tall, official weight 115.2 pounds. She represents the Knockout Artist Fight Club and American Combat Club. Ladies and gentlemen from New Smyrna, Florida, presenting Ariana Kid Diamond Melinda. Her opponent across the cage, fighting out a more general tire red corner, stands at five feet two inches tall as well. Official weight, 115.4 pounds. She represents Modern Vision MMA. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Welland, Ontario, Canada, presenting Tia Ramu. <laughs> Once again, your referee in charge of this three round women's strawweight bout, Matt Rocca now in the final instruction. Thank you so and here we go, Ariana Melendez gets set to take on Tia Ramon in the 115 pound weight division. Uh, Ramon in the red gloves and of course Melendez in the blue corner. Melendez is known for having some great striking ability. And you're going to see that here tonight against Tia. But Tia's got some good wrestling power. She's very explosive when it comes to takedowns as well. Melendez going in hard. Ramon will continue to work her against the cage here as Ariana Melendez tries to break free. And that's exactly what happens. A little clean break here. Melendez looking to utilize those hands here. And Ramon just strategically walking into this. Avoiding any more takedown attempts. Ramon firing back with some shots of her own. Yeah, nice little right there that connects. Nothing too dramatic, but dodges that nice big right. Melendez keeping that aggression up, but Ramon is keeping up no problem. Moon ends up on top. And right now you can see Ramon is just constantly working that head control here. And will continue to work her up against the cage. Once again, we're here at Seneca Niagara Resort and Casino. It's King of the Cage, territorial conflict, and Melendez comes in with more shots. And Ramon just trying to get out of it, but reversing things is Melendez trying to keep Ramon on the cage, but Ramon ain't having it. She backs right up. Melendez doing a good job of keeping that pressure up. Definitely uh, acting as the more aggressor in this fight, but just as I say that, Ramon lands a couple of jabs of her own. And Ramon definitely seeing to, uh, seeming to improve her stand-up now. Melendez constantly trying to utilize those hands here from the top. I can uh, imagine Ramon possibly going in for a takedown eventually. And man, she's trying to work the head here, and Melendez is just constantly reversing it to put her back on cage. And you can see uh, Ramon is looking for that takedown, possibly with the uh, nice little judo toss, possibly. And reversing things once again, there it is. Melendez back at it, in control with a nice right. Both fighters in a constant struggle here. Yeah, it's a lot of scrambling. Um, you know, no one's, there we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. And Ramon will end up with a nice takedown and back on their feet. And Ramon just continues to try and go for that head control. Like I said, looking for another takedown possibly and to stop things and slow things down with Melendez. Final 10 seconds and they'll duke it out. Last minute points here. Melendez with an outside leg kick. And that'll conclude round one. Let's take a quick look at the replay here. Ramon ready for another round here.
fantastic performance from both of these fighters here in the replay. We see both of them just going at it 150%, that stand-up game. They're slugging it back and forth. Um, Ariana seemed to be the initiator in the beginning, was the main aggressor, was going after Ramon, was you know, really putting the pressure down on her, but right there at that second half, it seemed like Ramon was really picking it up. Well, we are just about set for round two here between Ariana Melendez and Tia Ramon. We'll see how the fight develops here in round number two. Yeah, both fighters are uh, doing a lot on the feet there. Ramon got a, a takedown, scored some points. We'll see how this round goes. And the ref wiping down the floor, making sure it's uh, safe for both fighters, and we are just about set. And the clock will begin now. So Ramon with a nice takedown in round one, which will probably score uh, her some points, obviously, in the minds of the judges. Melendez is probably down a round, so this round, things need to really change. If not, she'll be struggling in round three to try and finish the fight, and that is a lot of pressure, especially in the amateur division. Both fighters taking a more calm approach to this round. Yeah, you know, exerting a lot of energy in the last round. Um, you can see Tia Ramon was trying to get the uh, the judo toss there. She got it eventually, but that takes so much energy out of you, especially when Melendez was working her up against the cage. You know, honestly, that fight could probably just even out, but the takedowns were the things that kind of stood out in my mind, but Melendez controlled it up against the cage uh, a big portion of that round. Ooh, and some fierce strikes from Ramon. Outside leg kick, Melendez with a couple of shots. Both fighters content with being on the feet here. Of course, Melendez uh, content with being on the feet. You can see that she uh, really pushes it when it comes to the hands. But uh, once it goes up against the cage, this is where Melendez needs to be careful. Tia Ramon was able to get the nice takedowns there in round one. Ramon just throws Ariana. Doing a great display of strength, and Ramon turns things around. And this is just a scramble between these two. Ariana now up against the cage. Ramon looking to probably take this to the ground once again. We saw that in round one. Um, it looks like she's starting to wind up for that again and backs out. Melendez pushes forward, gets the clinch. Nice knee delivered, setting up a guillotine here. They continue to go back and forth here. Have sort of a low knee there. That was a little below the belt. I don't think the ref saw that. But uh, now she continues to push forward, despite. Ariana keeping that power, pushing forward. Now looking to work things back up against the cage. Ramon probably uh, looking for that takedown once again. As we've been talking about the uh, past couple rounds here. Single leg, looking for it, doesn't have it, comes up short. And Melendez will probably push forward with some more hands. Takes a shot while delivering one. Ramon popping off a couple of shots there. Yeah, sort of a even round here. Melendez continues to push forward. Final seconds remain. And that will conclude round two. Take a look at the replay. Both fighters definitely taking a little bit more of a calm approach at the beginning of this fight. However, things picked up really quick. Both fighters once again taking that aggressive um, stance, uh, Ramon right off the bat this time. As soon as Melendez started turning up the heat, she was there to return it, no problem. Uh, Ramon definitely getting a couple more strikes on contact here than uh, over Melendez. However, I'd say it was a fairly even round. Yeah, you know, you could see Melendez was throwing uh, uh, some shots, but, you know, really there was not, a, you know, a crown victor in that, that round. Very, very difficult to call. We'll have to see if round three will even things out. When we return here at King of the Cage, stick around. King of the Cage on MAV TV will return after this.
Tonight's presentation of King of the Cage is brought to you by Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world. And by General Tire, anywhere is possible. And welcome back as we head off into our third and final round between Ariana Melendez and Tia Ramon in the 115 pound weight class. Here from Seneca Niagara Resort and Casino. You know, Tia Ramon has definitely shown that she's got some hands and she's got that knockout power and Melendez has just been firing off, you know, with those fists since the beginning of the fight. Melendez trying to come in, takes a shot for her efforts, but gets a takedown. But things are getting reversed as she holds on to an ankle. Ramon now working from her back. Yeah, Ramon is trying to hold on to this ankle lock, but Melendez is going to try and break free out of it. Not in danger yet. Oh, things are starting to get a little crazy. Got to get out of this. It's like, uh, you know, the, the more you move, the more it gives her an opportunity to cinch in that, uh, that lock. Melendez working the thighs, trying to soften up Ramon, but she's not letting go. Ramon just persistent with it. And Melendez just trying to do anything she can. Melendez trying to break free, trying to soften up those thighs there. Ramon holding on still. Still working that ankle lock. And Melendez is gonna try and break free, continues to try to soften her up, but it's just not working quite yet. She's not in real danger from this position, but you know, just one move can change everything. Melendez maneuvers out. Melendez continues to scramble out of this and now ends up in full guard. A great job done by Ramon of pushing her back. Now Melendez in a better position than she was, obviously. A little over a minute remains here in round three. And Melendez is looking to go to work from the top. Continuing to work from the top. Possibly trying to work a triangle here from the bottom is Ramon. Melendez in a little bit of trouble. Now possibly transitioning into an arm bar, possibly. Melendez trying to break that arm free, and she does. Got to be careful, though, because uh, you know, Ramon is very crafty. And there we go, again, locking up that arm. Possible arm bar attempt here. Now hanging from uh, upside down here. Melendez looking to get out of this, posture up, throw some shots. With the several seconds that remain here in the round. And they are free, and Melendez is trying to throw those hands and let him go, but delivers a knee. Uh, is Tia Ramon. Final seconds. This bout is almost over. What a war between these two, and that is it. Man. What an exciting bout here. Both fighters just really bringing it from the very beginning. Very close fight. All three rounds, you know, definitely were very close. Ariana Melendez throwing the hands. T.L. Ramon was there to counter those, was able to throw a lot of hands of her own and deal some damage when things went down to the ground. It seems like Ramon knew what she was doing, but couldn't quite um, execute the submission she was looking for. Uh, Melendez was able to break out a couple of times and reset. However, not a whole lot of uh, advantage on either side was made during that last third round. Yeah, there was a lot of action. I mean, you know, you could see that uh, Ramon may score points in this round and take it for the fact that she was controlling her on the ground. She was uh, submission attempts and all. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of women's strawweight action here in the Empire State, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Chris Belinsky scores this bout 30 to 27 for Ramul. Forrest Hobbick, 29 to 28 for Melendez. And finally, Tim Corrado, 
30 to 27 for your winner by split decision, Tia Ramon.